Okay then, let's get busy looking like there's a fire going on. So, um, in this layer, uh, in this step, sorry, we need to create a new layer. So, there you go, a new layer sort of in front of everything, but still in your smoke and fire group. And then, with a soft round brush selected, and it doesn't need to be too big, I think, yeah, that's about the right size. I'm going to change the foreground colour to an orangey sort of colour. So, the colour I'm going to use is... BE6600. Um, That's a nice sort of orangey colour. And then what I want to do with this colour is just paint um, some of this smoke. So I'm just going to go up part way to about there, I think. And you don't have to be neat, thankfully, because I'm not being. Okay, so once you're done, we're going to change the blending mode of this, this layer that we've just created, to colour, which looks a little bit better. I'm going to set the opacity to somewhere between 10 and 20%. Let's try it at 15. Mm, let's go for 20. 15 is a bit too subtle, I think. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and neaten that up. So let's zoom in on this a little bit. I'm just going to get my eraser tool, make the brush quite small, and then just get where I wasn't very neat and just help that a little bit. I don't want it to be spreading around too much. Okay, I think that's a bit neater now. Okay, and then Control and Zero to just put that right again. So that's a bit better. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to try and add some fire to the bottom of this, create a bit of explosion. So uh, we'll open a fire image, file, open, and it's this ring of fire we want. So let's get that open and just. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. So once you've got it, just using the lasso tool, we're going to select some of this fire. So let's get all this here. We don't need it all. Um, just enough of it. So I think that is all I need. Um, and then what you're going to do is we're going to copy that and paste it onto um, our particular artwork. So if we press Control and J that will then cut that out. Um, and then what I would like to do is just move that onto our poster. Drop that on and obviously it's going to be too big. So that's fine. But I'm going to change the blending mode of this uh, to screen which as you will see once we've done this sort of helps with the black which is what we wanted um, okay and then I'm going to just use my con control and T for my transform tool and shrink this down so it's a more reasonable size so something like that I think I'm just going to try and place it roughly around there where my file should be. Okay, and then once I'm already on my free transform tool, I'm just going to right click on it, and from there um, I can choose warp, which is a lovely little tool. And using that, I just want to um, manipulate this a little bit and try and create a bit of bit of a cool effect. So. There we go, let's stretch this around like that. And I'm just going to warp the shape of the fire a little bit until I'm happy with it. Okay, let's move it around. I keep missing the bit I'm aiming for, which is frustrating. Okay, let's pull this down here. And I'm just trying to get a bit more of an interesting looking fire that sort of looks like it's been blown with the wind as well. Um, so I'm fairly happy with that, I think. 
let's pull that in a little bit pull that in and then once you're sort of happy with that you can erase some bits as well um, if you don't like them and then you can just sort of keep messing around with this until until you're happy so I'm just going to turn my erase tool just size it up a little bit I just want to erase the bits I'm, I'm not using so that bit there is not being used that just looks a bit daft and I'm just going to make that a bit better pull this in as well like that um, yeah that's looking pretty cool and then I think I'm going to scale that down a little bit again as well I think that's still on the large side so I'm just going to move this around until I'm happy with it I don't think that looks too bad so you've now created bit of a, a fire effect going on at the bottom of that smoke so um, we'll leave it in this step we'll we'll go a bit creative again in the next step see if we can add a bit more to this image uh, but I think we've we've made some good progress now so yeah I'll see you in the next video